Right team, we've been working really hard uh, to get this mushroom farm up and running. We are probably not even halfway yet, but we are at a point where I can finally bring over the lab and the incubation. We've got the lab and incubation room completed here. Well, not really completed. By completed, I mean the walls are up. You know, my flow hood's in there and the heat is going in the incubation area. Um, so today is going to be the first day we're going to inoculate our bags we put on um, last week outside because last week we moved our steamer over. But we'll take you for a quick tour. Um, this place is an absolute bomb site right now. There's just stuff everywhere. If we go around here, this is where my office is going to be. Um, he's been using stuff, stuff's all over the floor still, I'm walking over stuff, fridge, fridge, beers, beers, right, important, um, but as we go down here, this is where the real money, money shots begin, this here is, a, this here is a, even my lab here, if we take a shot from this angle here, you can see, you can see that it goes there, so this is the rooms I've been building, um, it's taken me a long time, they've still got the plastic on the walls, some of these, I mean, we're missing rivets out of here. We're missing rivets and bolts all along the top. You know, it's just bare minimum for me to actually get this room functioning because it takes a lot of time. But if we come here, we got a window. Look at that. And if we look in there, you can actually see my flow hood operating in the back there. We'll go in, we'll have a look. So we go in, oh, it's a bit warm in here. Flow hood's running. I'll turn that off. It's been running for quite a while few hours now, but if we just do a spin around here, you can see the walls obviously covered in plastic, so I need to take that off. Around to my flow hood here, we just poached that today out of my other lab. Um, so yeah, just ripped it straight out and put it in here. Nothing's in its final spot, nothing's really set up properly, but it's just the bare minimum needed to function. Um, in the corner is where my autoclave is, that's the one I imported from China. Um, and then we spin right around, there's a ladder, we've got a ladder sitting here waiting, right? We've still got shavings all drilled out, piled in the corners here. Um, I've just finished riveting that one, I just finished riveting that one, I haven't riveted the edges or screwed them up here yet, so there's still a whole lot to do. We repositioned the lights again, so they're in a good spot. So that's our lab, which we're real happy with, and of course the little window, which I really like, so you can poke your head in and see who's doing what. Come down here further, this is a bit of a darker area. We've got this room here. Let's get that off. So you open this door. This is the incubation room. Darkness, right? Darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But what we'll do is we'll turn the light on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at this. Look at this nice empty room. It's quite warm in here. It's 23 degrees in here. So lovely and warm. So many PowerPoints, right? I didn't put all these PowerPoints in, we've got two, four, six, eight, eight individual PowerPoints, but we don't actually need eight, we don't need any of them. The water comes in here, uh, and that water will go through that wall down in the corner and into the lab. It just comes in here because it's where I piped it in from, but that's okay, so we've got to drill a hole, we've got to get that through, and that'll connect, connect to the autoclave and get that running. I'll have this on for a few hours to see how well that heat pump there heats the place up and it heats it up really nicely. Out of there, through into my, this is where the fruiting rooms are going to be. No fruiting rooms have been built yet team. Um, we'll come in here, if we look around here, we can see uh, my water heater which I've just managed to get on the wall today. It's still not connected because we didn't have the right size breaker for it. It needs a 32 amp breaker. We've only got it on a 20 amp breaker so Need to get a new breaker and electricians have been here all day. So that's cool, this is where we're gonna prepare our substrate. Come down here further. Um, uh, I've got the, the HVAC uh, going up on the roof here, that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna do a separate video for all this because these are all the more parts down here and that's all gonna be plumbed outside. This is an autoclave I bought which the transport company dropped off a forklift and destroyed. You can't win them all. So we head outside. We come out here, this is our preconditioning room. We go in here, we look in here, boom, big heat pump on the wall down there. See the big heat pump, we can't, it's so dark, there we go. Heat pump on the wall, couple of switches, um, so I can run uh, other devices in here. The air's gonna be sucked into this room, and then it's going to be sucked out through a giant pipe in this wall here. 
and that pipe will go through to this wall here and then it'll go up into that big HVAC pipe you saw on the roof that big insulated pipe and it'll all be insulated um, and of course the air coming in here will go the air getting extracted out of the fruiting rooms will go for a heat exchanger the air coming in here will go through another heat exchanger so we can recover that heat we don't want to spend too much money on heating um, here's the inverter unit which has just been put out put on outside today I need to hold it on the right arm it's like stronger um, this is our inverter we've got here so happy that that's in. I obviously put the concrete pad down for it a couple of days ago. Yeah, just plumbed in, comes up the side here, and near down there is the back of the property. Oh, and right here, here is our, uh, you've all seen this before, sorry, this is our steriliser unit. So happy that's here, that has been run. If we open that, that is full with bags that have been through this cycle. Um, yes, when I run this, I do open it and I do call my bags outside and I haven't uh, noticed any difference or any heightened contamination rates through calling my bags in the open, open air. I don't think it matters all too much. Um, if they do get contamination, it's not really visible. Um, of course, my little boiler here, which I still haven't covered uh, properly. Um, we only moved that last week. It was the first time it's been run here. And then my PID controller on the wall here for it. Um, and obviously down here to my mixer. Yeah. So anyway, what we need to do now is we're going to unload these blocks here. And we're going to unload these blocks onto this this uh, wheelie trolley here, right? And we're going to wheel this through to the lab, where we're going to uh, inoculate them, shake them, and then put them back on. And then this will be wheeled into the incubation. And then after two weeks of incubation, that can be wheeled into a fruiting room, which we probably won't have set up um, within two weeks, because it actually takes quite a lot of work. Some of these panels which I've been installing, you know, I can work for, um, you know, four or five hours and sometimes only get a single panel in, just because it can be finicky. You've got to measure, you've got to plan, you've got to cut, you've got to do all sorts. So it's quite a slow process. But um, you can see there's the HVAC along the roof. But anyway, we'll get these bags on here. We'll get them inoculated and we'll get them into our brand new incubation room. I try to make the old man do all the heavy lifting. Lift, Father, lift. Lift faster. Oh. There we go. There's my package. We walk this. We walk this through. Oh, there we go, look at that. Look at that. You can actually probably lower those shelves a bit, but after they've been uh, inoculated, that flap will stick up. Right, let's get them all on there. So we got them all loaded onto our rack now. There's about 250 kg of substrate on here. We're going to wheel this through. We bought these racks for test, I only bought a couple of them. It looks like the casters might already be a bit small. You can get a heavy duty. These ones weren't heavy duty, but we'll try and move this anyway. It's a bit tricky just getting it over this floor, this drain here. Look at that, look at that. So we bring this down. So don't judge my techniques too much today. I am wearing um, dirty pants, which I've been working in all day. Um, this room isn't fully really clean yet. I've ran the uh, flow hood for a few hours, but you can see I've got marks on my table still, which I need to clean off. I'm gonna be back in here tomorrow. We're gonna be drilling out the walls, riveting, um, putting screws in. We're gonna patch up corners here, which have, you can sort of see up in the corner there, there's a big gap through to the incubation room, same on the other side. There's still a whole lot to do in this room. Um, so our procedure for keeping it uh, clean um, we're not bothering too much with right now because it's just going to get dirty over the coming weeks. Then once we finish everything in here, we will have a more of a strict procedure with coming in here, lab coats, things like that, gloves, you know, masks. Um, but we'll crack on now. Um, and firstly, we're going to start uh, inoculating some bags with some of uh, a strain which I've read, an Italian Worcester strain, which um, is a really solid performer. So we'll, we'll get some bags inoculated up with this right now. 
I use a metal serving spoon to scoop my spawn into my bags. This gives me the ability to roughly measure the same amount of spawn going into each bag. So I finished inoculating, um, it didn't take too long with two of us. It probably took around sort of 45 minutes. We've moved them across to our heavier duty rack. This rack fits more, that's why the whole top shelf is, doesn't have much on it now. Um, and it's also got heavy duty casters. And I can already feel that that rolls a whole lot easier than the one on light duty casters here. So we'll roll this out of our clean room now and we'll roll this straight into incubation. Um, my last farm I had to move bags manually from incubation, bag at a time basically, from, from lab to incubation to fruiting, so the whole reason for our racking system is to prevent me needing to do that. Feel that roll. Feel that roll, look at that. Oh! Chaos! Chaos! Chaos for the boy. Bags were slightly too high and some of them caught the top of the door. And now we simply place this in the corner where it will sit for two weeks. Look at that. You can't get easier than that for moving bags around. So that's it, that's the very first bags we've inoculated at our new farm. The very first bags we're incubating, but I'm unsure we'll be able to get the fruiting rooms made in time for these to go on. So these might need to be transported back to our other farm. But we're happy, we're getting there.